What's up guys? Welcome to Squirrels Nest Outdoors. I'm Chris. Uh, I brought you here today because I'm doing a video on alcohol stoves. I've been telling y'all I was going to do this for a while now, so what better time than now? Uh, today we're going to be testing out four of those six that I have. Uh, two of them I have out on loaner, so I'll do those at a later date. The four that we're going to be testing out are is the pop can that comes with that caldera cone, a stove by Mechanic Mike who makes them. Uh, he has a store on eBay. The third one's going to be the Vargo Triad Stove, I believe is what it's called. It might be a different model. If not, I'll change that. And the last one is going to be the Trangia. Second thing I wanted to mention today is if y'all enjoy stoves, I'll also have a, a pretty informative blog about some different types of stove working together. I did the Sevilla, the Emberlid, the Trangia, I think another one. And I also show you how to make your own alcohol stove, pop can alcohol stove. So I'll put the description for that in the link below. And... Go ahead, sit back, relax, let's get started. All right, guys, so the first one we're gonna be testing out today is the Caldera cone. Uh, this comes in a food safe container. Unscrew that. What the Caldera cone is, is an aluminum windbreak that is designed just for your pot. This one is designed for my backcountry 700 milliliter pot. It also comes with this simple pop can alcohol stove. So let's get to testing this one. All right, guys, and for all of these, we are going to be using the country method of measurement, which is one jelly jar full to right there at the rim. All right, guys, we've got the alcohol stove for the Kodoric cone going. Getting primed, and we are just about ready. So we will go ahead and put our pot on there. Put our lid on. We will start the timer. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, we are almost already at a boil, and we are at, and we are only at one minute and a half. Not too bad. All right, guys, thought I'd show you a closer look. We are at a full rolling boil at a little over two minutes, probably about two and a half minutes. As you can see here, full rolling boil with the Caldera cone, the alcohol stove that comes with it. So we'll go ahead and let this cool off and we'll start on the next one. All right guys, so I don't know where I left off. I had to stop to pick back up, but uh, the one that comes with the Caldera cone, the homemade, weighs uh, 0.55 ounces and compared to the Mechanic Mike one, which weighs 0.4 ounces. So we'll go ahead and test out the Mechanic Mike next and the side of the Caldera cone. All right, guys, so let's get the mechanic mic stove going. It's a little drip there on the side. And we're off. And if you don't think these are working, all you got to do is wave your hand above it real quick. Go ahead and let that prime for a second. All right, guys, more about prime. So let's go ahead and throw a mechanic mic on top of there. Lit it up. And here we go. All right, and we are at a full boil. And we did it in about three minutes. I'll let it keep going. I should have checked it. It's probably close to about two minutes and 50 seconds, two minutes and 45 seconds. So just a little bit longer than the stove that comes with the Caldera cone. But the Mechanic Mike stove is actually running longer. All right, guys, and it burned through the rest of its fuel. The fuel, one ounce of fuel lasted for five minutes, right at five minutes. So it's like five minutes and one second. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move to the next stove. All right, guys, so the next one we are going to go to is 
the Vargo. And I'm not sure exactly which one this is. Y'all can probably tell by the design. I think it's the Triad. This one has quite a bit of use as well. Let's go ahead and get a weight on that with the pot stand and all. But the alcohol stove by itself, it weighs 0.8 ounces. With the pot holder and everything, it weighs 1.65 ounces. Alright. Alright guys, and I'm going to let everything cool off for a minute. I'm going to refill my water and I will be right back. Alright guys, so we're ready to go with the Vargo. Let that prime for a second. We actually don't need to use the pot stand since we are using the caldera cone. But I figured I'd go ahead and throw that on there anyway. We got a nice breeze, so I'm going to go ahead and put this over while it primes. And I'm going to start my timer. Alright guys, we are at almost a minute and a half. We're starting to get a few bubbles coming up. Not boiling, you know, just... You know what I'm talking about. The little teeny tiny bubbles that are starting to ease their way up the sides. Those are what we're starting to get. Alright guys, and we were at almost three minutes. And we are pretty dang close to a full boil. And we are now at a full boil. So we did that in about the exact same time as the mechanic mic stove. Rest y'all back down here, and I'm gonna go ahead and time and see how long the Vargo has fuel in it. And the Vargo will actually only take about an ounce of fuel, so this is doing it with less fuel. It's already done it longer than the alcohol stove that came with the Caldera cone, which doesn't last for very long with an ounce. Um, and it boiled about the same time as the Mechanic Mic stove, which the Mechanic Mic stove is one of my favorite stoves. So we'll go ahead and see how long this one continues to burn fuel, and I'll be right back to let you know. Alright guys, we're still going over five minutes, so it has beat the mechanic mic stove in terms of how long it'll burn an ounce of fuel. Alright guys, so the Vargo lasted for seven minutes and almost 18 seconds, which is the record so far. Next being the mechanic mic stove, which lasted five minutes, one second, and then in dead last right now is the alcohol stove that came with that Caldera cone. And it so we're going to move to the last one, which is by far the heaviest, and I'll go ahead and get that on the scale and show it to you. All right, guys, and the last stove that we are testing today, everybody has seen, I'm sure everybody probably has one. This is the Trangia type. This one's been used a lot. And this is the heaviest one of them all. Uh, this goes along with my Swedish mess kit, and that's usually what I use it for if uh, we go up on the parkway taking sunset pictures or something like that. It's probably the best one to have up there as part of that cook system. It works really well, but it is a really heavy system, and it's not something you'd want to take backpacking. But uh, on the scale, go ahead and turn this on. This one weighs 6.3 ounces, which makes all the other ones seem like feathers almost. So, without the lid, it weighs, doesn't take much weight off at all, 5.05 ounces. Alright, so we're going to finish letting everything cool off, and then we're going to test this one out. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we've got this set up. Pour the alcohol in there. Get a little bit on the side here. So we can get it going. And we're off. We'll let that prime for a minute. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and throw that caldera cone on top of this. And we're off. And I'll let you know how it does. I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are at two minutes and ten seconds and we're barely forming the little bubbles on the sides uh... this was taking longer i think it took a little bit longer to prime a little heavier took a little bit longer to prime but it's probably going to hold fuel the longest and that might be about it you know it, it's more weight it takes longer to boil, so like I said, this is probably a good system for your car, or car camping, or something like that. Let's see where we're at. We're at almost three minutes. Starting to get the little bitty bubbles going. 
but I'll bring y'all back as soon as we get there. Alright guys, and we are at a full rolling boil, and it did it right at four minutes. You can see it going there, which kind of surprises me because this is all centralized, coming straight out of the top. I'll show you these stoves close up, especially now that we're done with the boil test, but I'm going to see how long this will keep burning the fuel, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Alright guys, and I was right about holding fuel longer. We are at 8 minutes and 10 seconds, and we are still going. guys and we're fizzling out right now we're at 15 minutes on one ounce of fuel and it's just now starting to fizzle out As you can see it's still got a little flame there but we have lost yeah it's completely out now but that's pretty incredible over 15 minutes on one ounce of fuel this is the most efficient stove we've tested today this is also the heaviest stove we've tested today so let's give them all a closer look and see how they work. All right, guys, I've got the stoves lined up in the order of which I tested them. Uh, the first one we've got is this Caldera cone stove. It is, it is just a homemade pop can stove. Um, it boiled the water the fastest, but it was the least efficient. Uh, on one ounce of fuel, it burned it and it boiled it just about in two minutes. But the fuel lasted about exactly that long. The next stove we have is the Mechanic Mike stove. This stove was second on both. It boiled the water in, I believe, right at three minutes, right under three minutes. And it lasted for, I believe, five. So on one ounce of fuel, it boiled the water in three, and it was efficient enough to last for five. The next stove we come to is the Vargo. I believe this is the Triad. If I'm wrong, I'll definitely correct myself. Um, it's funny how this, this was in complete order. So... This one was the next most efficient. And I can't remember the boil time on that. I will put all these stats in the description. I'll also probably flash them on the screen right now. But I think this one was right at three minutes as well. And the fuel lasted, one ounce of fuel lasted in this one for a little over seven minutes. All right guys, and our last stove down there at the end is the Trangia. This was This was by far the most efficient, I've said that enough. This was also the heaviest. And it boiled water at, I think, four minutes, and it lasted for over 15 minutes. So like I said, this is good for car camping, a car emergency kit, but I don't know that I would pack this. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that love to pack weight. I've seen people carry cast iron cook pans and all kinds of ridiculous stuff into the woods. And I mean, that's, that's you're entitled to do that. I'm not saying you're not, that's just not, my thing i like to keep my pack light so this isn't something i would pack especially when i have these other choices uh it'll be fun to see the other two stoves that i have uh which are probably out loan to people as soon as i get those back we'll test those out too but as far as these go i would have to say i am either going to i'm going to take the caldera stove the stove that came with that caldera cone out and probably replace it with the mechanic mic stove. This one was the lightest and it was pretty efficient too so that is the one that I'm probably going to keep in my kit with my Caldera cone. My Caldera cone is awesome, one of my favorite things. 
I was thinking about the Vargo, which only weighs 0.4 ounces more, which I might interchange those in and out. I haven't used that Vargo too awfully much. And I will keep that Trangia right where it was at in my car kit. So I'll be right back to sum all this up, guys. All right, guys, so to sum all this up, all these stoves are great. Uh, the one that I cared the least for, obviously, is the one that came with the Caldera cone. It boiled it the fastest, but it was also the least efficient, and I would like to have something that's more efficient. The Mechanic Mike is probably going to be in my kit most of the time for now because it was more efficient, it weighs less, and it was almost the same boil time. Uh, the, alcohol, the Vargo alcohol stove was also nice, but it cost more money. I believe the Vargo runs about $20. And I will, I will put all this in the description because I don't know right off the top of my head. I do know the Mechanic Mike stove cost me like $4.95, which is an unbelievable deal. Um, so I would say if you're looking for a deal, if you're looking for some an awesome alcohol stove that you can just throw in your kit that's lightweight, um, first, first of all, I would pick a pot that is your favorite pot, and I would get a Caldera cone for your pot. I love this thing. Um, this is usually always with me. It's so light. And it fits your pot. You can use a variety of different alcohol stoves with it, and it's awesome. But the Mechanic Mike stove is definitely going in my kit. And <clears throat> if you have a chance, check him out, Mechanic Mike on eBay. He makes great stoves. He in no way sponsored this video. But um, if somebody's doing great things, I like to tell people about it so you can get a good deal on it too. Uh, I definitely recommend you check him out. Um, the Trangia kit I would definitely get for your car. Uh, you can find Trangias for cheap a lot of different places. Um, mine's an old one and it's gonna get a makeover. I'll clean that up soon. You know, hope you all enjoyed this video uh, If you have any questions concerns anything, let me know if not. We'll see you next time. Take care